Hello everybody, Michael Tyler here with another free Vectric Project of the Month. This project is for January 2019 and as usual you can download all of the instructions, PDF, illustrated instructions, uh, you can download the project files to complete this project and uh, just uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, you like the project, and be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss anything uh, coming out in the future. So this project was an idea for a surprise for my wife and I wanted something just a little out of the ordinary so I came up with this theme, the key to my heart. So what we have here is a wooden chain with a wooden key and it's a, a heart shaped chain, little love hearts here. You've got the keyhole. You can actually hang this on the wall and let the chain hang down or you can insert the key and, and uh, let that, you know, just keep that on display like that if you like. So a number of ways you can display this, but I just thought it was kind of an unusual project. A nice reminder to your loved one that uh, your heart belongs to them. They've got the key to your heart. So I hope you'll enjoy this project. And if you do decide to create this project yourself, please post some pictures on the Vectric forum so that we can enjoy those as well. All right, Michael Tyler here. We'll talk to you next month with another free Vectric Project of the Month. Okay, we're just flipping this thing over to carve the other side, the bottom side, and uh, those uh, drill holes for alignment went all the way through into the spoil board, and I just placed these small dowels into the spoil board at those drill locations, and then place this over the top. Make sure it's down good and tight. And then I'll reapply the screws just to hold everything down and we'll carve the uh, bottom side.
Okay, I just wanted to make a quick note about this uh, sectioned heart. These two pieces are going to be glued together, uh, but I also want to stain them. This ring is going to go in that slot, and then once they're glued together, that's permanent. But I also want to be sure before I stain it that the edges are nice and clean, get the traces of the tabs off and so on. So basically all I'm going to do is just to put these two pieces together and hold them tightly while I sand them with a sanding block. I've just got some 150 grit sandpaper and I'm just holding this together and sanding it and if I don't hold it tight enough I'll just make a correction there and I'll just sand these edges before I glue it all together and stain it. So I just wanted to show you that and that was uh, my method I came up with to make sure these edges are nice and smooth with each other before staining. As you see here, I've got everything laid out. I've got our eight heart uh, chain links and the two rings and the key, the sectioned heart. And uh, in a minute, I'll uh, be breaking the uh, every other chain link so that we can join this together and make it look like a seamless wooden chain. So we'll need this one broken, this one, this one, this one. So four hearts and the ring. So we'll break these in half at the vise. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then we'll join each of these pairs and glue this back together. So the end result will look like a continuous wooden chain with the key attached at the end. All right, getting ready to break these chain links. What I've done is just put the uh, grain in line with this vise and just tightened it enough to where it's not squishing the wood too much, but uh, just so it's good and tight. And we just take a, a block of wood and we need to wrap it sharply to give it a clean break. Now that's going to break wherever it feels like. Don't worry about it because when you put it back together you'll hardly be able to see the seam at all. So we'll repeat that with all the hearts and also with the ring. Now the ring you just have to take a close look. We know that the grain is running this way for the hearts but on that ring you need to just really be sure that you're breaking this thing with the grain. Now you need to keep these pairs together because if you mix them up, it's gonna be a little bit harder to figure out what goes with which. So I'm keeping all these pairs together. Let's do that ring. I'm taking a look at it and I see the grain is running this way. And I'm just putting it in the vise to where it's a little bit above the halfway point. And I'm just setting that block there give it a sharp wrap and it breaks right off okay I'll finish the rest of these up and then we'll go on with the uh, rest of the project Okay, the next step in this project is to apply stain selectively. I've decided to go ahead and apply stain to the top heart layer, and I use this small paintbrush to help get in the keyhole just to get good coverage there. I did not apply any uh, stain intentionally on the back side because that's where I'm going to glue it to the uh, uh, heart plaque. And then on this broken ring, I just applied with uh, this small brush some of this stain and trying to avoid the glue area. After I glue it up, it'll probably need a little bit of touch up, but that won't be a big deal with the brush. So I'll just wipe this down, some stain on there. This stain is uh, Rust-Oleum Cabernet. It's sort of a deep reddish brown color. And it's also the uh, ultimate Called, they, they call it the ultimate wood stain uh, by Rust-Oleum and I really like it because it dries in about an hour or so and you can apply a uh, clear coat. Of course that depends on weather, humidity and all that but, uh, and temperature. I've got the garage heated up to a fairly toasty 76 degrees. So I'm good. 
Should be able to coat this in about an hour. All right, well, I'll finish up this last ring and then we'll get to the rest of the project. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue these links together to connect everything. And uh, prior to gluing, I always like to do a test fit just to make sure I don't have any stray uh, splinters or something like that that prevent a tight fit. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this uh, translucent wood glue. I'll just squirt a little bit out in this plate. And I'm using a small paintbrush to apply the glue to the surfaces of each of the broken links. I don't want to get too much, but I want to get good coverage. Any excess, I'll just wipe off with a damp paper towel. I just laid down some waxed paper just as a precaution so I don't glue this to anything I don't want it to glue to. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'll put a little bit more there. This uh, translucent glue has a fairly quick grab to it, which is what I like for something like this. Okay, so just feed that through here, feed this one through there, and glue these two together. You could also use a CA glue if you wanted to. I have some CA glue, but I decided to just go ahead and use this uh, translucent glue instead. So I'll repeat this for each pair of broken links until I've got it all connected and uh, wipe off this excess glue. I'm just going to hold it in place for a little while just to make sure it grabs well and then we'll go on with the rest of the project. As you're gluing these things together you can wipe off the excess glue squeeze and apply rubber bands as you go to sort of keep that clamped in place. Okay, we're on the last one here. Let's get a good glue coating on both sides. want to wipe off that excess glue so you don't accidentally glue your chain link to each other. There we go. And I'll put on a rubber band. Okay. We'll just let that sit and dry. Okay, I've hung up the finished chain link chain. It's all dry and I'm just applying a few uh, light coats of uh, Krylon Clear and very light coats because uh, I don't want these to stick together. So I'll just spray a little bit then I'll uh, jostle it around and make sure it's not sticking and change the position, hang it the other direction and uh, finish it up with the uh, several coats, light coats of this Krylon uh, Crystal Clear spray. Okay, we're on the home stretch. I'm just applying some glue to the top heart here, the stained heart that goes on top of the plaque. I don't want to apply glue where this ring is. So I'm just going to be very careful and not apply too much at that lower corner or so much that it uh, bleeds over into here. But I want to get this out a little, pretty much to the edges here so it makes a good contact. And again, this is that clear coat or uh, translucent wood glue that I like so much. Okay, I think that should do it. A little more here on these edges. And I've got a good coating on the edge here, so 
we'll apply this, line it up. Okay, I'm gonna let that tack up a little bit. And once that's tacked up to where it's not gonna slide around, I'll put this block of wood on top of it along with this five pound weight and just clamp that down. But I'm gonna let that tack up just a little bit before I put that weight on. Okay, the glue is all dry and I'm in the process of just applying the final clear coats over the entire project. Just need to look it over, make sure I didn't miss any spots, but it looks like that we're pretty much done. I hope you guys enjoyed making this project as much as I did designing it and making it myself. All right, Michael Tyler here, and we shall see you next month with another free Vectric project.